Welcome, welcome. I'm Christy from Christy Stamp Spa. And um, I'm an independent demonstrator here in the United States, um, Southern Arizona. So this is so exciting. I've never gone live in YouTube before and definitely have never um, done both at the same time. So bear with me. I'm, I'm playing and it's so exciting to try to use all of um, the new technology. I can't can't really see um, how it's going, but hopefully, hopefully it's going well. So I'm going to go ahead and um, turn you guys down. I have a cute, I have, my swaps came in, so I'm very excited. So I'm excited to show you guys some swaps and then show you how I made mine. So let me go ahead and turn you down low. <gasps> Yay! Okay. Oh my gosh. Can you guys see my, my phone? <laughs> That's me on YouTube. It's so exciting. Okay. So oh, the new catalog is out. It is fabulous. Um, I have having to pace myself, even with the pre-order that us demonstrators were able to do, do. Still so much out of this new catalog. It's so fabulous. So let me show you guys. I did do a catalog swap that is really lovely. Very excited about this catalog swap. So let me, and this is with our pre-order. So there are a lot of the date and the cheerful ladies, because that's what we could pre-order in the balloons, but they're all so super beautiful. So let me go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see them pretty well. That and that gorgeous. Okay, so this is a swap from Anne Marie, and that's beautiful. And she, of course, uses the beautiful balloons and that new, um, and that's that beautiful, bright and beautiful paper, designer's paper, and then she used the stitched. Um, so this is the stylish shapes, and she um, embossed, uh, heat embossed in white the sentiment. And then look at that. I have to figure out. I think she used. There's a die that makes um, fringe in the beautiful balloons stamp set. I, or in the die set, and I think that's how she made those. Isn't that pretty? I love it with all those bright colors. Very lovely. And of course, look at that on the inside. Yay! So I love Amory's. Okay. Ooh, and this one is really pretty too. I love this ribbon. And this is with the circle sayings um, bundle, and that has the. Um, well, I think she just used. I don't think that, that that might be the two and three eighths. Um, is that a two and three eighths? I should look and see if that's two and three eighths. So the simple sayings um, bundle is two and three eighths. Yep. So this is um, she used. This is the knight of navy stitched from the stylish shapes, and then this is the two and three eighths um, circle punch that comes when you buy in the bundle with the circle sayings, which is new. And this is that knight of navy um, uh, ribbon, and then the um, is it lovely lolly, lolly. Lemon lolly, lemon lolly, um, that pretty with little iridescent pearls, super cute. Oh my gosh! And look at the inside. She put it on another one of these and used that. That's the same flower, which mat so matches the um, that co uh, country corners in um, designer series paper. And this one is from um, Sampa T. T. Tia Tia Woodward. That pretty, super cute, super cute. Okay. And then there's a couple of monkeys. Oh, have you guys seen those monkey um, stamp sets? Aren't they super cute? She uses the Fern 3D embossing folder and um, pretty cute little monkey. Super cute. Some of that wild wheat uh, ribbon. And then she stamped the monkey and some foliage on the inside. Isn't that cute? And that is Deborah. Isn't that pretty? Super cute. And then she like used, I don't know if she just used um, an exacto knife. I know we have a new, a new attachment. To our pick a tape pick tool that has a, like a little exacto knife that looks like she just kind of tucked that the um she tucked the tail of her monkey right into the branch super cute and here's another one with that monkey and this one is from um amanda Pittman. not pretty cute so she also did the monkey on the branch and she has the stitched um shapes and this is that that really new co that pretty combo ribbon um that's the lemon lime twist so she looks like she used lemon line twist and a lemon lolly. That's super cute. That yellow and the lemon line twist really look great together. And then she's got the bananas. Can you guys see the bananas across the edge there? And this looks like this is actually a piece of the designer series paper from the balloons, the bright and beautiful right there. That's so cute. So that's probably what this is too. And she stamped on it. Pretty, pretty. And that one too. Or this one actually looks like it might be from the designer series paper pack. You can get all of the ink colors and actually all of our family colors in these designer series six by six packs. And that's what that one that's from. Super cute. I love that monkey. Okay. 
Here is one with that really pretty, what is it, um, Countryside Inn, um, and Countryside Corners is the name of the stamp set, and the die set um, that she used. And this looks like it's from, oh, is it Leading the Way? Oh, there's a stamp set that isn't a part of the bundle, but it is adjacent. Um, it's next to the bundle, and it is, um, it's pretty awesome, actually. Um, and that looks like that's what she used for this flower. Um, and this sentiment, but it looks pretty cute, and I love this paper with the little foxes. How oh, adorable is that? And then she used the, um, it looks like the uh, embossing folder that matches. It's a country tea. I can't remember the name of that one, but that's the countryside in Swede and the countryside in Corners. And then, oh, she put, so she put a little, little inside, and then she put the little flowers. Isn't that pretty? Super cute. Love, love, love. And that one was um, from Lynn, or really pretty Lynn. Okay, ooh, okay. So this one is from, oh, this must be Kim. This is from Kim Myers. And, um, oh my goodness, she does this really pretty, um, she used the uh, the music. And I actually use that same embossing folder, the Mary Melody 3D embossing folder. Isn't that pretty? In the um, Moody Moth on a lovely, um, that bubble bath backdrop and then she used the circle sayings again and that's that cupcake from the circle sayings that super cute i really like that i love the little bow she did on the cupcake super cute and i love it inside happy birthday super cute love, love love here's one with this triple daisies and a fresh as the daisy designer sugar paper and she is this is that copper clay which i really like as um i'm so I, i'm really loving all of our new in colors but isn't that pretty with um she's got some of that boho blue ribbon, the textured ribbon, and then she used that copper clay. It looks so nice. Um, I love how it just brings out the flowers. So this is that Fresh as the Daisy um, designer series paper. And we've got, it just stamped the daisies and the boho blue on the inside. Isn't that pretty? I love that copper clay. It looks so nice. So that's the cheerful daisies. And that was by, um, wow, this thing was Maria Lee, oh, I think it's Maria Elena Vazos. Sorry if I totally butchered it. That's a gorgeous, a gorgeous swap. Okay, and then here's another one with that um, fabulous, the corner country, I think it's called Country Store in, and I don't know why I can't get that name. Um, do I have it like right here? No, but I do have it in the catalog. Let me see what that is. So I can't believe I can't remember what the name of it is. It's, driving nuts. It was, it's all the ones, all the blue. It has that really pretty, here it is. It's called Countryside. So Countryside Inn is the name of that designer series paper. And it's on page 62 of your annual catalog. Let's see if I can get to 62. There we go. And that's the Countryside Inn Suite, right? And that we saw a couple people use the um, Countryside Blossoms embossing folder. And I think this one actually is, is um, unorderable. It should be back in shortly, I think at the end of the month. But then this beautiful blue. Oh, this is so fabulous. And I don't know if you saw on the new um, pumpkin, it's going to totally match this. Um, sweet, the new one for June, and they're gonna have it in different colors. So I think we saw a sneak peek of I think it's the fox paper that had um, it was in calypso coral as one of the card bases. So it's so gorgeous. Hello, I think I'm back. Did I come back? I am. Um, my daughter's checking. I think I'm supposed to be back on both. It looks like I'm streaming on both again. So she's checking to see if I'm back, which is why I was trying to show you guys the um, the thing. Let's see if I can. Let's see. It looks like I'm live. It looks like I'm live here. And it looks like I'm live here. Let's see if it shows. If I can do it. D oh, it says default stream. That's awesome. Need to decide to put on it. I gotta do the new the thing. I don't even know how to make this work. Oh, they're both live. My daughter just came in and said they're both live. Yay! So hopefully. Is it started from the beginning or from right now? Oh, it is. It's gonna be a whole other video. So, hi, it's Christy again. <laughs> I'm back. And, um, but all of my other devices like crashed. I can't tell um, what 
is going on, so this will be fun. <laughs> I'll have to definitely play with it, which is why I was trying to do the um, show off the swap so that when I do mine, I can tell what's going on. It's so weird. I wonder what happened, what made it all crash. Um, but this is really cute. Show the piece of design she was working there. Pretty, very lovely. And that was Julia. And my last swap. So if you're just dropping on, I um, had dropped off for a minute and I can't see anything on any of my devices. So luckily my daughter is on and she, <laughs> she is in the other room moderating so that I can see. Um, but here's another one. And this one is from um, Kathy Zuckerman. Isn't that pretty? Um, I love this layout. So she's one of the new 3D embossing folders. The um, and basics, that is an online exclusive. And then two pieces of that designer series paper. And this one she actually stamped on the B side of the designer series paper of that Fresh as a Daisy. And then she um, made a really pretty little um, sentiment that goes across the daisy. And here's a pretty little, um, that, that, that new textured ribbon in the copper clay. Isn't that pretty? Same copper clay. And that was what I was looking for. Those are the same from the same pack, those embellishments. And it is a part of the daisy suite. So I was trying to look that up when everything crashed. Uh, my husband also came home. I wonder if he went on to one of the services and we like overloaded my internet, which could be what it is. Um, it's hard to tell, right? It could be just coincidence. My son says all the time, coincidence and it does not mean um, causality. Doesn't mean, just because it happened at the same time doesn't mean that's actually what it happened. So here I am just like flipping through the things instead of looking it up, which I totally should do. Here we go. It's on page 110. Um, and they are called, they're adhesive back solid gems. That's why I'm never going to remember that. They're solid gems. And they're right up here. They're part of the suite. So you can order the suite with one number. Um, and then it tells you like a, a brief description of what is going to be in that suite, right? Um, and that's with this number if you wanted to get the whole suite. Or of course you can get the bundle and, and or eat the, the dies or the stamp set singly. But there's that gorgeous designer series paper. I love that. Fresh as a daisy. But um, yeah, so you can order all separate. If you, if you order in the collection or if you order the bundle, you save 10% on um, that the price. So make sure if you want the bundle price, you don't just order the daisies and the dies. You need to order use the bundle price or to the, the bundle. And that's the number that you use. Um, that gives you that price um, to, to save that 10% because we always want to save 10% because that means there's more for us to get. Okay. So yeah, so that's a lovely, um, so she used that with, with um, the yellow lolly one, lemon lolly, as well as here she got the clay. Um, not pretty. I really do like that and the stamping on, on that is really pretty. And then she of course stamped those, those flowers again on the inside in the boho blue, which is very pretty, very pretty. Okay, and then our next, oh, I love the zany zoo. Okay, so these ones are our zany zoo um, swap, part of the swap. Um, and this is actually from Lisa Hardy, who is the lady that put together fabulous, um, this fabulous swap that we are doing. Um, isn't that pretty? I love that. It's a cute little bending llama. And this is the B side of the paper. Um, and then this is the stamp. Isn't that super cute? Love, love, love. She's got um, pretty, and she used pink on the inside that looks like um, the bubble bath instead of the, the white on the very verse, which is very cute, very cute. And then here's another one with um, the Zany Zoo. And these look like she actually um, did the designer series paper. So, um, oh, my computer wanted to crash. Uh, she, this is, she's cut out the these little frogs and this little bear from the designer series paper, that um, Zoo Crew designer series paper. And then she colored it, the, and she made the, um, the stage here with, we have the dies that match those dies that you can make those stage curtains. And then she used the wood, the timber um, 3D embossing folder to make like the stage. I'm not sure where this, um, I love this little uh, die is, but that's super cute, right? This super cute little die. Very cute. So that is super sweet. And this one is, oh, and look, she used green on the inside. It looks like um, lemon lime twist on the inside with a little warthog. Who also has like a little line to us there. It's super cute on the banjo from that designer series paper. And this is from, oh, Roz. This is Roz's. It's super cute. I love this daisy. Okay, and then there is, oh, here's the other daisy one. I tried to put them in order with the same, but I love this one. She really um, 
This is from um, Joyce. Daniel, look how cute. Oh, I, say that. I love the bubble bath. And this is that pebbled, that pebbled path, which is so pretty. And I love that she used two different colors. You guys see the two different colors of the um, in color dots. And then this is the mop over the, um, the bubble bath. But she also shadowed it with the, um, the pebbled path. Pebble path, I think this what it is. And then she used the wheat for um, the edges. And it just looks really good. And it looks like she hit this. Um, the center and the top with her uh, with a blending brush with some pebble path on the top. So I love that. She's like got a little bit of ink around the edges of both her colors. Splatter. Love, love, love. It's so pretty. So pretty. I might actually have to case this one. It is so pretty. And then on the inside, the veg. Dirtied it up. I love that. You vintage it. Um, and then she's got the pretty uh, daisy on the inside colored with um, the bubble bath. And it looks like that, and it looks like pebble path. So um, usually I want to say when I want to do the inside, you know, you, you want to use uh, like early espresso or crumb cake, but, or even, you know, uh, we've got that pumpkin pie now that's just gorgeous. But she used the pebble path and it really looks good. I like it. I think I'm going to be using a lot more of that color in the future. Love, love, love. And of course, um, I can't believe, I, I, yeah, so, and it, so these are all swaps I've got from, that fabulous um I think my Lisa Harden did is her zoo crew um uh swap which is super awesome um I love that swap that is like I really enjoy participating in her swaps they always do everyone does such a fantastic job I didn't show you guys my card let me show you guys the card that I did and hopefully everything is still going well I can't see anything this one crashed. I have like a little a little Kindle thing right here so I can see. And totally crashed. So I can't tell. My daughter hasn't come in yet. So she hasn't said that um, it's totally crashed. So hopefully I am still up and everyone can see. And then if you guys comment, I will always go back. I'm going to have to go back and change to, to put in um, the titles and stuff because clearly it says default <laughs> instead of what I'm doing. But this is one that I made. And I use the B side of the Fresh is Frasia, or not Fresh is Frasia, Fresh is the Daisy um, Designer Series paper. I use that Mary Melody 3D um, embossing folder on a, a, the large stitch circle. And I colored a little journal and, and cut it out from the Zany Zoo. And then I, I created this little stitched um, banner. Um, I'll show you guys how I did that. And uh, and this is the, another banner that we have that's in the Zany Zoo um, dies. So, and I love Pretty Peacock, right? Pretty peacock, is super cute, and then on the inside I've got um, the little musical notes. And this happy birthday is actually from the um, Sentimental Park um, stamp set. So well, this happy birthday is from it's from the Amy Zoo, which I love. There we go. I, I went too far up and it got a little blurry. Okay, so let me go ahead and back up a little bit. You guys can see that this is what I'm going to do. So I'll leave that right here in the corner, so you guys can see that. Okay, so what you do to start to make that card, you need a, um, a piece of it's your eight and a half by eleven pretty peacock. I have cut it at four and a quarter and um, scored it at five and a half to make my basic um, card base. Love this old card base. And then I, I cut a piece of garden green at the um, five and three eighths, five and three eighths by um, four and one eighth, so that it's just an eighth down. And that's going to be my layer. And then I layered that. You guys recognize that, right? The first is the daisy. Well, this is the B side. I love that. Or it's got that green and the pretty peacock. So this one actually has a lot of green on it. Um, and it's a big piece of the designer series paper, right? It's not, you're not going to get exactly the same at all the time, but um, pretty close, right? So it looks really nice. So I can decide, oh, I think I'll put more green on this side because then I can, I'll be covering it with my um, circle. So this is, the, I cut, I die cut the white, the basic white. With my the largest of the stitch circles from the stylus shapes, and then I ran it through. So after I had already cut it, then I ran it through with my Mary Melody 3D um, embossing folder. Um, that way, I, I get the most. If you you can, of course, um, do it the other way. But it does when you run it through um, through the machine to die cut it. It does squish it a little bit, so you get the better. If you want a uh, really good impression, it's better to do that second, right? So do that after. That's my there and then I did already die cut out so let me show you the stamp set I should have showed you the stamp set. 
So this is the Zany Zoo. I know I've showed you guys before. Love of love. Um, all the critters. The super cute raccoon with the balloons. We've got a skunk that's out looking at nature with a little birdie. Our singing turtle, knitting llama, um, bike riding alligator or crocodile. I can't remember which one we decided it was. And then this is a, a cheetah or a leopard. It's not a tiger. It striped the wrong way. Spot spot stripes. I thought it was like a hit. And this is a red rubber stamp set. Um, just so nice. I love that. Super cute. So that's a Zany Zoo. And it has cording ties, which are pretty awesome too. So they cut out all of the images. And then this is that banner die that I was mentioning. Um, this is the, um, the the curtain die from that one. We also have a lovely scallop. And then, of course, the ones that cut out those as well as. Um, so those are the images. And then there's like a flower and a balloon. And this looks like a little vase because there's like a little flower. Um, I think those are ties for our um, curtain. We've got, um, there's some more little flowers, a cloud and a tree. And here's like a little stand for your vase. So super cute. Here's the turtle, as you can tell. He's got his, he's got a little piece of the, the blue tape on there. <laughs> so I was using it to hold it down. So I like to, when I'm, when I'm going to do a bunch, um, I do like to uh, cut out, like stamp it first in mental black and then die it out. I'm not always so great. Sometimes I, you know, I hate to color it all and then accidentally have the die cut move and then you have to do it again. So I find that um, I like to die cut it first after I stamped it with the memento ink before I color it with the blends so that I don't um, waste all that time, right? So here it is. Remember when you use the blends, you want to make sure that you um, have some, kind of, some piece of paper to um, protect your surface because the blends will bleed through. So um, I love my blends, but that is that is one of the things. So that means I love to put stuff on the back of my cards. But if you stamp an image on the back of your card um, and you want to color it, it's one of the reasons why you really need to have an inside layer because it will bleed through on the inside. I find that I forget that when I'm doing uh, like a paper pumpkin or one of our kit cards. I need to make sure I put another piece on the inside because I always want to stamp on the back and then color with my blends, and then it bleeds through. So just keep in mind that they will bleed through. Okay, so I love Pretty Peacock, and I am going to use the Pretty Peacock when I stamp um, the inside of my card. And um, I have my little inside. Um, and I wanted to show you guys. So I, Peter, Pretty Peacock is one of our returning colors. And when I got it out from the box that it was living in, in my, <laughs> my garage, um, I noticed that it was kind of, it wasn't very like I, I'll probably post. I can post some pictures also about it, but it was starting to like it kind of had like some weird. Um, it wasn't like the bubbly stuff, but it looked like it was coming apart a little bit, and so and the the ink was not really good at um, being picked up right. Like there, it wasn't really good. So I totally rinsed it out. So you can totally take your your ink pads, rinse them out um, in on the um, in your sink. Right, the ink is you know it, it's uh, washable. It's just going to some dope to make sure you don't color the inside of your sink. But it it cleans up. As you can see, like I added more ink onto this one, but it was hard when it dried, and it was like orange almost. It shouldn't be that way. So when you're when you're done with your after you've winched it out, you're, it should be a little bit soft. Like you could press into it. If if there's a peat part of your stamping um, your pad, because they're not like one of the things they tried to stress was. It does not last forever. They are a bit of a consumable, especially if you leave them in your garage. In the heat, I live here in Arizona, so we have some big temperature changes. Um, but it goes hard. So when you rinse yours out, before you waste putting all of your reinker like I did it, if you get hard spaces um, and you don't, when you push in, it doesn't like your fingerprint doesn't go in a little bit. That's a bad pad. You just toss it and get a new one because um, I, I reinked it. I could probably use this little bit right here, but right here it's it's icky. Like it won't. It's actually it's actually starting to fall apart. Um, it, you can't saturate it enough. Um, this this is actually a bad pad. So keep that in mind. You can um, save your pads um, and rinse them completely out. Them in because some like the reds. I find that some of my real red. I think I had a, the most trouble with my um, uh, Mary Malo. I went and got a brand new one, and I like it so much. But but those ones need to be just be tossed. Not with wasting your ink on if it's hard so once you rinse it all the way out if when it dries you can't like depress your finger in it um the pad is is icky and you need to just get a new one otherwise you can just if it's all soft 
You just add, add it in and it'll be good. Okay, so now that I've chatted at you about ink pad, let's play with our blend. Right, with our blend, the color my turtle. So oh, I played, I made a bunch of different turtles with different colors before I chose to use this, uh, just to see what kind of turtle I wanted to make. And I wanted to make matching, um, make the matching turtle, right? So I ended up going with Pretty Peacock. I have to say, I'm really stoked that Pretty Peacock is back. I love Pretty Peacock. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. This is with the Light Smoky Slate. And I'm just going to use the Light Smoky Slate to do my microphone. So just the microphone. Let's see, that. Let's see if I can get go even further in. I just want it too blurry so you guys can't see it. And then I'm going to use the Dark Smoky Slate for this. Although, you know, I should have used the puddle, my puddle pack. I'm so used to going to Smoky Slate for gray. Okay. This for my microphone. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to do the turtle. And I'm going to use the dark, my dark, um, pretty peacock to go around the edge of his shell. Like that. Oh, my, that's the dark color. And I'm going to do the little. His little spots on his shell. I love this turtle. He's so cute. He's a crooner. He almost needs like a bow tie. I should have maybe put a bow tie on him. So here we go. So cute. And just kind of get that. Cool, cool. And then, so that is that's all I'm going to do right now with the dark. It's just around the shell. And then I'm going to use a light peacock for the other part of the shell. I'm going to color my turtle the green. So um, I'm going to go in with my light peacock. Pretty Peacock, I love this. So I have to say, Pretty Peacock was one of, not only one of my favorite colors of the in colors I missed the most, it was actually, um, I, I think I used it the most too out of the other ones because when I went and got my, my um, scrap and stuff out, I had the most paper and I used, had a lot of, like a whole thing of scraps. That's how I knew that I used it for so many projects. This was so, I was so happy when, it came, when it's coming back. I love Lost Lagoon too, and Missy Moonlight. I think Missy Moonlight might be the second, my second. Um, and then it would Lost Lagoon, and then it would be Seaside Spray, I think, which I think was um, another one that I really liked. So I'm going to add like a little bit. So when you, I don't know if you've noticed, if you color over yourself again, uh, over the color again, you can make it a little darker. It's going to be as dark as like the dark of your um because it will lighten up when it dries going over i'm just making the stripes so it's not as dark as this other part of the shell but it is darker than the lighter one do you know what i'm saying so i mean i'm using the same the same color to do more of the shading just like you know coloring parts of it more go there's his little shell he's so cute okay so I can't remember. I think I used. I don't know. I don't think I used the lemon lime. I'm pretty sure I used um, old olive. I think I grabbed the wrong ones too, didn't I? Dead. Let's see what. This is why you need your other side paper. I can't remember. Oh no. Well, I like the garden green, but we don't have a garden green in the blend. So I'm gonna go ahead and use oh, the light. Oh, I, you know what? I just used him. I color him in the granny apple green, which I think is just too light. So I'm going to color him over with granny apple green so it needs all the same color. So what happens when you color it and you're like, mm, I don't like that color? You know what you can do with blends? You can't really do as well. You can use your, I'm going to go back over it with the old olive. I thought I grabbed my old olive, but I actually grabbed this lemon lime twist, which is not at all like old olive. Let me color his nose. Oh, he's cute. You can see he's a little bit too green, I think. Too green with the, um, what is this, granny apple. So let me grab my old olive on over here from real quick. And here we go with my old olive. I don't know if I put those other ones away in the wrong place. I just didn't grab the right. Okay, so I'm going to go over it again with the with my light old olive. And that is going to like darken it a little bit and it'll be closer to a garden green. So I went over it first with the light granny apple 
And now I'm going over him with the um, light old olive. And that looks more like garden green. Look at that. So uh, very close to the garden green. Gosh. My computer doesn't like it. It's my computer's not liking this new. It keeps wanting to like uh, turn off. <laughs> so I can't see what I'm doing. It's just very pretty. Right? So I'm going to have to re redo like like one of my our thing times out. Right? I'll have to move stuff. I don't even know. This is so scary. I didn't even... So on Facebook, when we go live, when I've gone live before, you can like put in like what your um, before you go live, you put in where you're gonna put your um, the title, and I have the title um, in in my mini camp, which is a, the stream service that I use. So <laughs> I'm gonna need to now make I put that information into the thing before I go straight in. I think I have no idea. I'm gonna have to go back on later and <laughs> fix that. So now I'm gonna use my dark old olive, and I'm gonna give him little spots. I'm going to give him, like, little spots on him. See that? Oh, so cute. You don't need a lot of little spots. Just a couple little spots. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my, um, the light petal pink. And I, of course, grab the dark petal pink. I'm going to grab my light petal pink. Let's set it down over here. Wrong place. I love my light. I think I use the light petal pink. The, is one of the colors I use the most. Mostly because I use it for, like, their cheeks. And I, of course, love it with um, uh, Calypso Coral. Like, I, I love Petal Pink with Calypso Coral. In my in my little world, that's how I do it. Okay, so when it dries, it's going to totally be, it'd be lighter. Let's see if I can get this. So you guys can you see. Look, is he? Oh, my gosh. Super cute, super cute. Okay, so now let's put the things together. Let me go ahead and zoom back out. Hopefully, it's not going to it's too far away. Okay. He's away. Luckily, my um, stuff is not too far. Okay. And then I'm going to build my card front. And, and building the card front is really easy. You saw I've cut all the pieces. And um, you just have to glue them on. Grab your glue. Or your favorite adhesive. It doesn't have to be glue. Um, and I like to do build from, and then put it on my garden green. Um, layer that. and then i'm gonna put my garden and then i'll put my um it's too excited about trying to go live being nervous <laughs> making me go okay here we go isn't that pretty oh, oh i love this okay so i have so we have this but i want to add my um pretty peacock so i made a little banner in pretty peacock where i showed you that die it's actually in the um, style of shapes. What did I do with the zany zoo? Right here. And that is in this one right here. That this this little one right here. Oh no! Oh, it looks like I'm still on YouTube, but I've broken down on Facebook. So I'm still going on YouTube. Wow. Back and back on Facebook, it keeps dropping. I'm gonna have to figure out how to make this work, or I'm just gonna have to stream on one and not both. I'm not really sure how to do it yet. Um, so hopefully, thanks guys. It's, it's gonna my son's gonna love trying to piece this stuff together. <laughs> okay, so what I've done is I've just said that we've got the pretty peacock um, banner that is from the Zany Zoo die set, and I've already die cut that out. So I'm actually going to use some of my stamp and seal, and um, I'm going to put it like this. I think this is the right way. I haven't taken music lesson like it's been a long time. I think it goes this way. Like there's a right way and a wrong way. <laughs> so make sure, if, especially if you don't know. I guess you can ask. I don't know anybody that can tell me how it goes, but I'm going to put that up here like this. So it's at the top. So you've got your Death Star with your, or your, your, your quack. <laughs> and then I'm going to put it up on Dimensionals. I had a pad of Dimensionals right here. What did I do with my, I moved the card that I was showing. Here it is. My sample. And I should put it over here in the corner so you guys can see it. Do -do -do, and there's my little turtle. Okay. 
So I put him up. I put this one up on dimensionals. Just make sure you've got it going the right direction, <laughs> which I need to try to do. And let's put in the middle. Take off these little little things. Get these dimensional things on everywhere. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put it down here in the bottom corner. Kind of like that. Kind of getting it centered from this edge to this edge a little bit. That's where my little guy is going to go. So, I know I'm going to put him so he's just kind of off. But singing like that is like, And then the birthday. Okay. So what I did was I stitched to make this little, the little half, the little half birthday sentiment. I actually stand, I actually cut out, uh, die cut out one of these basic white um, stylish shape. It's with the I actually have it out already. Banner dies. So this one right here. And then I stamped the um, each, I stamped the happy birthday on both sides, right? So I had it close to um, in the middle near the point on both sides. And then I took my, um, my uh, the, the, the same act, the same die, and I actually just put it like this. So I put it centered in the middle for where how. When you stamp, sometimes it's not exactly even. So how I would want the two pieces, and then I ran that through again. Oh, okay. So again, the, the YouTube, my YouTube is live. The Facebook is not. I'll have to go back and deal with Facebook. But um, you guys are still on YouTube, it's awesome. Um, in the middle, just like that. That's how you're gonna put that on and have that go, just like that. Um, uh, once he goes through the chain like that, then you'll get the edges. I've already done that, so I wouldn't have to try to cut out. I had it here, which I might have lost because I was messing around with everything. Do -do -do. It's here. Here it is, right here in the bottom. Da -da, da -da. Just like that. So when you cut it out, it makes that other edge, right? So you just lay this flat on top, just like that. And I used a piece of post-it tape, or you know, you use washi tape or post-it to hold it down. But that's how you can get your stitch edge wherever you want it to go. So you can use your dies to make them shorter too. It's super awesome. Okay, so for that, then we're just gonna use a Stampin' Dimensional. And of course I use Pretty Peacock. I'm gonna use my scissors. Those are not my adhesive scissors. Okay, here we go. I don't use my really good one. So I'm gonna cut this off the edge. I'm just gonna use an edge of this to go on here, do it again. You can always, of course, cut one apart. But I just put that on the edges, just like that. And then I need a blue dot to hold it on. You can also put glue um, on there as well. Let's see if I can get you a good glue dot, though. There we go, just use this one to hold it on. Although I think I think for this one I used glue because glue really adheres really well to um, embossed images. But I got glue, glue block, and then I just kind of put it where I wanted it to go, over top of, so it overlaps the um, pretty peacock one as well as my um, embossed circle. And then for my turtle, I just added him with glue. So, but I'm just going to do the top part with glue. And of course, you can, of course, use um, stamp and seal or the glue dots like I did with the happy birthday. Um, and then his bottom is going to be off. So, or his feet, his bottom, from half of him. I'm just going to cut another little piece just to go on the bottom, just so it's not too um, floppy on the bottom. Let's see. I don't think I put it in the right. No, I totally, totally did. I put it in the right spot. I totally did, did I? Let's go on the other side. I have the terrible side. Remembering which side is which. Here we go. And then stick them on just like that. How cute that. That's super easy and super cute. Now you can stamp um, the little notes on here. Um, if you wanted to stamp on um, your circle and you knew where you were going to do it, you could stamp on the circle and then dry emboss it. Um, 
but it's harder to stamp once you've dry embossed it and definitely after you've ad adhered it to your um, card front, especially if you're using stamp dimensionals because it's really uneven. So you definitely want to stamp first. Um, I didn't. I just wanted to put the, um, the jewels. So I'll do the jewels in a second. And then I want to do the inside layer. And I die cut or cut out um, strips of that same um, piece of Fresh as a Daisy. I'm going to put it down the back. I don't like a naked back. And so before when Facebook dropped, it let me restart it. This one did not. It did not. Let me restart it. I'm definitely going to have to play with this and see how it works. I know, right? Hopefully. There we go. Just like that on the inside, this basic white. And this basic white I have is my normal 5 and 1 8 by 4 and um, 4, 5 and 1 8 by 3 and 7 eighths. And then the strip is uh, 4 inches. So it's a half inch by 4 inches. And then I put on the inside of this one, I did the notes and the happy birthday above. Um, that. So let's get, I did put the happy birthday. Like I said, I, I got the happy birthday from the Sentinel Park stamp set. And, um, oh no, I've, oh no, it's starting to, wanting to all go, there we go. I'm going to get my good, pretty peacock out. And one of the things I like to do is I like to stamp, um, I'll stamp my happy birthday. I put here on the bottom. But I also like to add it to the back of my card. So the sentiment that I put on the inside, I usually put on the back. And then I'm going to stamp my little musical notes. I'll stamp those on the back. And I think I put them, where did I put them on this one? Yeah, I just did it at the top. Just like that. Super easy. So it's adorbs. And then finish off the back. I need my... Um, my new my new Stampin' Up logo from um, I think it's sending letters. I'll post what which it's the new our new angel policy and I really like it doesn't have as it doesn't have a hand stamped by or hand stamped with love that the last one had the limited edition um, but it has a much bigger the Stampin' Up logo is much bigger which I really like it's actually the biggest one I, I think I've ever had um, it's not so big but it is nice it's a nice bold font which I really enjoy okay. Close this. All right, and then I'm just going to use glue to add this to the inside. Maybe. There we go. Well, I just really appreciate you guys hanging in. <laughs> I will have my son, hopefully, will be able to stitch stitch something together. So maybe I can get it all in one. Um, and then I'll share it to Facebook because, um, yeah. And then fix all the titles. I'm going to have to learn how to do that. It's like a whole new thing to learn. But I totally want to um, have some time to craft with you guys and be able to get it done. So um, it's exciting. Oh, I didn't put my bling. So I have lots and lots of bling. But for this card, um, I use my tried and true that I love so much, which is the iridescent rhinestones. I love the iridescent rhinestones. I need to get out a new pack soon because I use it so much. I love it, love it, love it. It's my favorite. It's my go-to. Go-to one. So I used, um, I usually only ever use um, a five. I use odd numbers. This is the first time in a long time I've used even numbers. And I think, so I put one in the corner there and in the corner there. And then I got a second, the second one. I really love it. I think it has three different sizes with these. That's probably why I love it the most. And then, of course, if you guys have Wink Stella, you know, I like to add a little wink. A little. And then I actually added some wink on his, um, the lighter, the two lighter parts of the undershell, just to give it a little sparkle. Sparkle's fun. Sparkle's pretty. I love sparkle. I love Winkasella. Like, I need another Winkasella. There you go. So it's a super quick and easy card, but super fabulous with that B side of that, um, oh my goodness. And the fresh is daisy. I love the fresh is daisy. It's gorgeous um, when you're using the daisies, and it's gorgeous when you're using not using the daisies. Um, so lovely. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, that's that. Happy birthday to you. And that was actually in here. And that's where the notes were, also from that. 
There's also some nice confetti on there too to go with the bows, I think. Super cute. Oh my gosh. I love, 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 love the set. I'm probably seeing lots and lots of stuff. I love showing you guys those fabulous samples. And second round, I also have a few other things that I guess to show you that I've been working on all week, trying to get done <laughs> and playing with um, trying to use. Um, let's see here. Let's pull all this stuff up. I had a couple other swaps. So this is the one that I did when we when the catalog first came out and this is again that b side the same one that we used today with the turtle this is the that front panel one of the panels that you can cut um from the um furniture paper and then from the freshest of daisy and then i did the yay that's actually from that welcome home suite that is um now an online exclusive it was, it was um, I don't know if it was in the catalog. I think it was in the mini catalog last but now it's an online exclusive. These these cute little um the foliage is from the Timeless Arrangement, which I love. Timeless Arrangement is gonna be great. You're gonna I'm gonna see a lot of that stuff. It's gonna be awesome. So it's lovely. The bubble bath. I love the bubble bath. Okay, so in the catalog, in the back, you have the the memory and more cards. And I always I always try to get the memory and more cards and use them. Sometimes they can be a little more daunting. They're on page 135 because they're much bigger. So I have to use the smaller notes. So going bigger is harder for me. But it's the it's four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So they're pretty big cards. And um, of course, I like to put some on the inside. But I have, so if you're one of my customers, you'll be getting one of these fabulous cards in the mail from me in your packet of stuff from your catalog. And I use the daisies. And this is the nested essential dies, the new one, the largest one. Um, you yeah, have to be careful. Make sure you look at link. It looks like a thing. Otherwise, it could look like a coffin. I had to redesign a little bit, as I didn't realize. And there's two different. There's two different ones. There's one that has the three colors on it, and then one that has like an ombre with that bubble bath. And so for this one, I used um, these are the pastel adhesive back sequins. I used the pink, and on this one, I used um, the blue. I think it turned out pretty. And I used the azure blue. Um, Azure Afternoon is the stamp that I used. Hello here, there. I'm not sure if that's from. I think it is from. The hello there. I think it's from the Darling Delight details, which is the other one I was using. I had them out all on my desk. So we can have these in the mail. Are those cute? And what's interesting, what's fun about these is that I make. I always put the inside card, even though it comes white. And it is. Um, I think it's like four and a, I usually put it's like four by it's four by six. I think this the inside piece of uh, white that I add, yeah, is four by um six by six. Yep. This is actually four by six. I cut a piece of four by six white to add um to my card so they have that inside layer. Even though it's on white, I really like it. Um although I did not use my blends, I did stamp <laughs> with those beautiful I love the daisies. I love daisies. Love daisies. Um, and I get to have these. Okay, so this one is that same card base, but I cut it down um, to a regular card. So this one is a five, so it's five and a half by um, four and a quarter. So it's a smaller, but it's like the same size as a regular card. I cut it down. So don't forget, when you get these card bases, you can cut them. There's no, there's no rule that says you can't. So I did that, and I added, this is the bright and beautiful um, designer series paper. And then I used that, that really pretty... Um, Ribbon that's from that the duo combo um, for to make like a little little um, string for the balloon, and then put inside it to that more of that paper and that fun little um, confetti that they have, and then stamp. And then this one is also so this is with the darling details dies and stamp set at Mundle, and that's what this edge is from is the darling details. So I just cut I cut off. An inch off the front of this card base, which is the same size as this one, right? It's the same other one because I used most of these, and so I had a bunch of these left over. So I wanted to figure out what to use, so I can use all of my card. And so um, I added the little bubble bath, tiny flowers. But these are the flowers from those darling details, and this is from the darling details. I think the thanks though is from the timeless arrangements um because i love that stamp set like it has so much awesomeness in it and this is from that gorgeous three pack of ribbon i love that the azure blue Isn't that pretty i think it turned out really pretty um this is a two like i said this is six and a quarter so i actually had to make this longer so i had to write twice 
with my um, embossing fold or with the die, and I actually just did this little edge. So it doesn't really matter. You can't really tell. The bow kind of hides it, right? It takes away the focus. But that's that cool. I love the cool edge. And then on the inside, um, I just added another die cut flower. Um, they had match flowers. I really appreciate you is um, that timeless arrangement. And then this is the pink that is from the piece that I, so I cut it off here and then I glued it on here. And then if you can see, I actually have another one of those four by six white pieces in there. And then I put the um, the other piece of the card front right here in the flowers on top. So that's how I made that one. Isn't that cute? Love, love. So um, I also did another. I was with, uh, went to a, an event which we made some cards. Another one of those fabulous, um, beautiful balloons. With that that really pretty green lemon lime toast. Um, I totally knocked it off. A bow. And then this is that that cool, bright, beautiful paper using that new fringe dye that's part of the bright the beautiful balloons. Here's that fish. You guys see that, that fishing set? I do not remember what it's called, but this one is a fish that's die cut from that designer series paper pack that matches. And so is this. Um, isn't that cute? That's super cute. That fish is super cute. For up there for Father's Day. It's a nice a fun set if you need to make if you know somebody that's into fly fishing or fishing here is the white on white for um those daisies the cheerful daisies this is the white on a white um and the cheerful daisies when you use them the one these three flowers are one die so when i made all of these vase ties i have an entire I have a huge bucket now of just this piece because i just used uh, this one and this one <laughs> on all these cards i have a bunch left of that and then um, this is a separate die cut. That's a part. That leaf is a part of this bigger die. And then she used a piece of the. Um, this is the corner no, countryside in design shirt paper. And then this is that shimmer. There's a. It's, I don't know if it's soft shimmer luster. I think it's a luster. The new in colors come in a luster design shirt paper. Specialty paper, not design shirt paper, but specialty paper. And it's called luster. Um, it is really pretty. Like I have some coming. It's so pretty, so pretty. The Baja blue. Um, so I, I had such a great time and doing lots and lots of fancy, but I haven't been able to be here. Um, I didn't get on last Friday because I had a bird strike in my crab room. My kitty cat grabbed a crab, a little bird. They're those little wrens here. Um, they're really tiny. I don't know. They're like really small. My kitty has no teeth. So the bird was perfectly fine. Craft room, not so much. She let go. My daughter grabbed the cat. My, daughter, my husband came in to try to grab the bird, <laughs> but the craft room kind of got very messy things i mean i've got a lot of stuff stacked and he had to move some stuff to say to make let the bird have a a clear path out the front door so bird was fine got out fine craft room it took me a little while to, to um clean it up and restrain everything um for the from the bird strike that was last friday so i hope everyone though um enjoyed a little turtle and look at all the swaps i love looking at swaps Swaps are so fun sad that i could not figure out how to add the um to add our all the information <laughs> to the front of um into the description so i'll have to go back and fix that but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed uh the super cute card and the um looking at all those swaps and i hope everyone has a fabulous weekend if there's any mothers enjoy, uh, if you ever have a great mother's day uh, everyone have a safe and fabulous weekend and hopefully i'll see you guys soon um either here or on facebook i might have to do two different ones but uh, We'll see how that goes. Anyway, so uh, happy crafting. Great weekend. Bye. So I can